a 2006 official timekeeper, Tissot. Gentlemen, welcome to Doha, welcome to Qatar. 39 sports on display out here in the 15th edition of the Asian Games taking place out here in the Arabian Peninsula. Well, this is the men's final of Kabaddi. Pakistan up against India. Two monster, two very big nations. Two arch rivals. The four-time title holder is India up against their neighbors, Pakistan. A long-standing tradition in both of these countries uh, for the sport of Kabaddi. So if you're not familiar with the sport, well, we're certainly going to try our best to uh, give you enough information to understand what's uh, about to unfold uh, right before your eyes here on Eurosport 2. Essentially, this is a, uh, well, a game that's about 4,000 years old that has a uh, history deeply embedded in the South Asian culture. And initially, it was uh, created, uh, implemented to just um, develop your self-defense and reflexes skills. The starting lineup for uh, India So essentially, this is a game of, uh, well, trying to hold your breath and running across the court. Two half courts here. One team on the offense, one team on the defense. And the Raider, Pakistani Raider, trying to get to the other side. Touch one defender, then come back home to score a point. Such is the process. And he has to do this without taking a breath and a first point out here. Pakistan going up on the scoreboard. The Indian counterattack with Dinesh Kumar trying to find the opening. Surrounded here by the Pakistani defense. Oh, there he goes. The leg coming down. Trying to make his way home. And essentially, the defenders must uh, create the, uh, the chain effect represented by the holding the hands held together out here, which... Uh, ideally blocks the advancement or the uh, reduces the windows of opportunity if you will for the uh, the raider to actually get his foot past but it did oh, nothing prevented this man from going all the way home so there's several ways a, a player can be eliminated oh Oh, watch out here. This is getting pretty physical. Contact. And you think this is just a some other kind of oof. Look at the Indian Raider going down. Naveen Kumar. Two to one for India. Well, it's all about testing those reflexes and in court awareness. India up two to one in this first half. Two 20 minute halves as well, separated by a five minute halftime. Oh, and there comes the tackle. Well, Manpreet Singh from India here. Now the Indian player can score a point as soon as the chain is broken and, and he touches or tags a defender, tags or tackles, as a matter of fact, a defender when the chain is broken. So essentially, he's a, uh, well, the Raiders are meant to be trying to do this all uh, in one single breath. Oh, the aerial style right there. Oh, crash course for an Indian Raider, Rakesh Kumar. Oh, he's going aerial. 
You go up and you come down as you try to find your way home. All such is the name of the game. So points basically are scored when you have a Raider touching in a, an opposing player and a, basically safely coming back to his side or by the opposing team capturing a Raider and preventing him from returning to his side. So it's all about getting safely back home. Oh, and look at that. The, the entire team crashing down out here on the Pakistani Raider. 6-2 to two, India. Well, Naveen Kumar all by himself up there. Trying to find a solution. Uh, through the uh, Pakistani defense and another player eliminated there on the outskirts. Oh, very tactical play here. Naveen Kumar finding solutions. He's got the option laid out. Oh. Just missing out. Naveen Kumar. Oh, great dexterity involved here by the Pakistani. All 7 3 for India at this stage. Pakistani Raider coming back uh, in defense now. Manpreet Singh. Oh, trying to find a, an option, considering all options, reflecting upon his MO. Oh, great play right here once again. Manpreet Singh. Well, a very tactical display here. Just a moment to uh, precisely fine-tune the tactics for the Indian squad. Well, for some of you, this may look like an uh, evolved version of playground tag. Well, it's much more than that. Skill and power. With a bit of uh, wrestling and rugby involved as well for the tackles and the just the in-court uh, management. And the physicality of it all, managing this, uh, all the movements of all the different players and trying to find the openings. Oh, on the assault, Nasir Ali. A Pakistani Raider, deep in enemy territory, running out of breath, coming back to a uh, his side, up comes Dinesh Kumar, India's number four. So this is the format. You got a court divided in two halves, seven players on each side. We each uh, take turns simply in uh, raiding the other side of uh, the other side of the court. Then you score a point, but with having a, when you have a Raider who touches an uh, opposing player safely returning to his side afterwards or by an opposing team capturing a Raider and preventing him from returning to his side. So it's all about being quick on your feet, vivacious. Don't make yourself too comfortable in the uh, deep in enemy territory. Oh, here comes, uh, well, 7-4 to the score right now in this first half. India leading the way, and Pankaj Ashir Sat stepping up. Oh, watch out for that. Players do get eliminated as well. If you step out of bounds, you're gone. Nasir Ali, Pakistan number two, the Raider. Eight to four India at this stage. Another point scored here by a pen cashier set just before. Watch out, Nasir Ali. Considering options.
And back he goes. Pakistan only three players left. And then another point here for Pakistan, secured by Nasir Ali, precisely. The Indian response, Naveen Kumar. Making an attempt at uh, Maksud Ali as well. Nope. Eight to five. Pakistan, uh, Pakistan securing a point on that one. Still six players out here on the uh, Indian side of the court. Almost uh, sliding down Nasir Ali, losing a bit of balance in the process. Well, in a way, the sport of Kabaddi, uh, you can just tell the uh, influences throughout the uh, South Asian martial arts, as a matter of fact. When you take a martial art like a Penchak Salat or a Kalari Payat, for instance, where a lot of the motions and gestures were uh, taken after uh, the observation of animals. Well, you can see here the different stances are very similar to those. Kabaddi and Eurosport 2, we're taking a quick break. We'll be back for more right after this. Don't go away. <laughs> Welcome back to Eurosport 2 and coverage out here of the Kabaddi men's final in Doha, Qatar, the 15th edition of the Asian Games. Nasir Ali, the Pakistani number two right here, deep in Indian territory, as you can tell. The Indian defense, oh, and what an attempt to uh, stretch out the leg. And then find a way home. And not too many uh, Raiders or potential Raiders left on the Pakistani, on the Pakistani side of things. Naveen Kumar, India's number nine, back up. The front, oh, going for a, a shot out there on Nasir Ali. Not working out. Oh, and the replay of this one. Oh, he gets the foot. Swinging the left foot across for the tag. A foot is enough. So developing the... Uh, reflexes and agility here and also just g general perception you know whereby you have so many shapes and sizes of dangling and moving around in front of you you got to be able to your brain has to be able to process the information and you must develop peripheral vision as well so an interesting skill here for uh, for all the uh, Kabaddi uh, athletes oh and look at that all oh, the tackle on the way back Oh, Nasir Ali had the tag, but got snatched and snapped on the way back. And a great play of Indian defense. Once again here, gets the tag and on his way back. Quite aggressive, that tackle, if you ask me. Kind of like the uh, battering ram effect. And Nasir Ali taking it sideways, but... Uh, he got the tag in there, was going back home, and bang! In comes uh, the Indian defense and catapults him down to the ground. Well, two Lonos uh, to love at this stage. India leading the way. Uh, third Lona. Excuse me, 14 to 6. The score, India leading still. Oh, the foot coming across. Wajid Ali. 
on the defenders. Uh, remember, must have their uh, hands linked like that so as to symbolize uh, the chain effect which links them together, preventing the uh, safe passage of uh, the Raider, Manpreet Singh, this time around. India's number five. Considering all options once again. Quite astute and perceptive in his motions. Oof. Well, the, the officials are sounding the referee 14 to 6. Still India leading in this first half. Two halves, 20 minutes apiece. Five minute half time, such as the format. It's true when you think about Kabaddi in this uh, traditional game that goes, you know, has a history, 4,000 year old history. You're thinking it should be played out in some sort of dirt field or something outdoors. You wouldn't imagine, you wouldn't picture uh, the neat synthetic indoor. Well, great stadium, incidentally, but uh, still 14 to 6. Great offensive, offensive trial out here for uh, Pakistan and Wajid Ali. Number four out there all by himself and bang. Gets an aggressive tackle once again from uh, Sukhveer Singh. Oh, that leg was coming out pretty quick. Naveen Kumar. Oh, look at that. Well, the entire Pakistani squad just uh, falling on Naveen Kumar. Well, as soon as the initial contact is made, that is it. The point is secure. You're right. And therefore, you want to make sure uh, you leave no room for chance in a situation like this. No room whereby the Raider could find his way home. Well, five Indian defenders, one Pakistani Raider, 14 to eight Pakistan, clawing its way back up, scoring two points here in a row. Oh, watch out here. Wasim Sajjad. Serene uh, Pankaj Shirsat, the Indian Raider. Oh, he gets a tag. Oh, Muhammad Akram seemingly not happy with the decision here. Was he the player to get the to get tagged? Oh. Oh, controversial de decision here. What do you think? Did Muhammad Akram get tagged or not? Well, the referees certainly gave India the point for that. That's what it's about. Well, you know what? This obviously is a game uh, much harder than it seems when you watch it here. Touch without being touched. Not everyone can do it. Okay, here we are. Rakesh Kumar, we're coming back up 15 to 8 still. India on the prowl. Rakesh Kumar, number seven. Oh, well, the center of gravity is uh, quite high at this stage as he's uh, just resting deep in enemy territory there, doing bro breath management. Seems like his leg got the full extension and the. Uh, Attack, perhaps we'll have confirmation of that in just a, a moment. As the camera shot didn't provide the information for us to assess the uh, situation appropriately. Did Rakesh Kumar actually extend his uh, his leg out so as to get the uh, the touch? 
I'll find out as soon as the uh, we get a recap of the scoreboard for you. Okay, Pakistan. Oh, the point was definitely handed over 16 to 8. An eight point gap at this stage. Somewhere deep down in the first half. Ooh. A great attempt here from the Pakistani offense. And look at that. India's defender coming out. Oh, gets tackled hard. Bitten down by Badshah Ghul. The Pakistani defense line. That's how you get, you know, just completely stopped on your way back home. Well, points given up to both sides for the play. Well, a very technical sport indeed. Relying on seizing the moment, finding the opportunity, responding to opportunity when it knocks, such as the true art form of Kabaddi. All this while uh, pushing the physical limits of your body, dexterity, agility, and great footwork involved as well. Peripheral vision. I mean, look at this one, for instance. Uh, Naveen Kumar involved in a serious tussle and brawl right here on the offense. Naveen Kumar. At this stage, he has to be able to watch a number six and number five at the same time. And he's just like you and me. He only has one pair of eyes. So you got to develop... Uh, peripheral vision so as to be able to assess uh, the extent of uh, the potential damage coming at you. And look at this, number seven, Maksud Ali up against uh, woof, a plethora of Indian defenders. Ali, the Raider, Pakistani Raider, all by himself up there trying to find a, a window of opportunity to express himself and uh, secure a few points for his country. Well, you want a bit of a track record, pretty simple. The sport has been at the Asian Games since 1990, and it's been won every single time by India. So no need to say India, definitely the dominant force of Kabaddi at the Asian Games. And that's something the Pakistani force would like to uh, put an end to. Well, at this stage, uh, not looking too good for the, the challengers. Oh. Of course, the best way to, to bring a man down is uh, taking him down from, uh, from the base, just like a lumberjack when he uh, chops a tree down. He doesn't attack at mid-height, goes for the lowest spot on the tree trunk and starts hacking it off. Well, that's a similar process here in the... Oh, look at that flying leg. I'm telling you, there's similarities with the, the South Asian martial arts. We'll have to get uh, Sensei Will Vanders' perspective on that. The uh, Fight Club commentator on Eurosport. Well, Naveen Kumar's attempt to run home didn't work out too well here. And Muhammad Akram, oh, he gets nailed hard, taken down by Fariad Ali. And the replay here. Oh, great reactivity. That's what it's all about. It's about spur of the moment action. Action, reaction. Well. 
the end of the first half. India clearly the dominant force out here. Score out here. This is Kabaddi, one of the 39 sports presented at the 15th Asian Games in Doha, Qatar. We're taking a quick break. We'll be right back for more. A very interesting uh, South Asian sport here. Deeply embedded in the uh, South Asian culture, a sport that has a 4,000 year history. And it's uh, kind of like a, I mean, I guess us Westerners would say it's a, a playground tag, sort of a enhanced version of a playground tag. But in effect, there's much more to it. There's more than meets the eye. There's no question about it. You just look at it, you know, tactics and, and options. What's available to a Raider as he goes, as he delves deep in enemy territory to try to secure a few points here in Wajid uh, Ali. Oof. Unhappy about the call here, perhaps. As Rakesh Kumar lifted to put the left leg, raked it across in here. A Pakistani uh, Raider, Abrar Khan. Oh, trying to... Come up with some kind of solution when you're facing, you know, a big wall of defense like that. A lot of things go through your mind, and it's uh, also about react, you know, pure reactivity. Only three defenders left on the, the Pakistani side as players get eliminated one by one when they get tagged or tackled. Oh, watch out here, the response. Oh, India's number nine, Naveen Kumar. As he has the right method of uh, tackling the situation. That's exactly how he gets out of it, as a matter of fact. So lowered his center of gravity only to come up and take out the Pakistani uh, opposition here. Oh, <laughs> look at that, the big huddle. With the Indian defense uh, just latching on to the Raiders' foot. And that is it. Everyone else comes piling atop and crushing down in an aggressive way, to say the least. Muhammad Akram. Well, 27 to 15 in this uh, second half out here. Two halves of 20 minutes, of course. Such is the format. Well, the sport very popular in, uh, in South Asia. Bangladesh, India, Iran, Japan, Malaysia, Nepal, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. The countries where the, uh, the sport is the most played. Oh, look at that, taking him up by the neck and bringing him down. Oh, aggressive in nature. Well, that's the thing. If you're a, your perception withers for a, a split second, that is it. You're just going to get overwhelmed and overwhelmed. And dragged down by the neck and also pulled by the leg at the same time. Ouch, 27-16. Abrar Khan, that's the Pakistani number 10. Oops, knows better. He comes back to, uh, to defend. That's what it's about. Maybe try on the outside here for uh, Nasir Ali, number two from Pakistan, to try to go beyond the area in which the Indian Raider can actually uh, see and attack him from, uh, from the outside. Well, Naveen Kumar. Settling for the play and going back to his, uh, his side of the court. Well, the scoring system is uh, fairly straightforward. Points are scored either by a Raider touching an opposing player and safely returning to his side, or by an opposing team capturing a Raider and preventing him from returning to his side. So essentially, you're going to see the man who's out in front is called the Raider. 
going on the opposite side of the court. So in this instance, Wajid Ali is the Raider out here. The Indian defense going to try to prevent him from touching anyone. So as soon as Ali, say, touches one of the Indian defenders, he's going to have to bolt the other direction so as to try to get back to his side safe and sound. Now, of course, as soon as he touches another player, well, the Indian defense is going <laughs> to swing into full force and try to take him down as, he's, as he tries to get back to his side of the court. Well, 27-16, nothing here. Historically, a sport used to, to develop uh, awareness, self-defense. Practice your reflexes as well. Nasir Ali, Pakistani number two, in the white jersey. Facing the Indian wall, oh, the extension of the leg, but watch out, if you're not positioned properly, you might get the tag, but that's all you're gonna get. As the entire Indian team comes crashing down on you. And when your senses are heightened to the level at which, <laughs> well, these players have their senses heightened. I mean, look at this. A single touch, and that is it. The entire team is piling up on you. You know, they react in what, 0.1 nanoseconds. I mean, you got to be lightning fast to get <laughs> to bolt out of there and just try to get back to the uh, other side of the court. Easier said than done, of course. Well, Pankaj Ashir Sat here, the Indian number 11 in the blue jersey, considering options. Look how quick the eyes move around, <laughs> scanning the situation, assessing it instant by instant. Is there a possibility? What's the opening? What happens if? All the information processed. 28 to 16. Abrar Khan. Oh! Well, he had an escape route nicely planned. He just didn't get the tag quite in. Oh, there it comes! No! An attempt. <sighs> Delving deep in enemy territory. Oh, here he comes. He got an option. Oh, he's able to drag the hand across the line. So the assumption is that as long as you uh, bring a hand across the line here, that you're going to score a point. So he gets the tag, then dives back over. Oh, precisely, 28-16 before this action. 28-17 now. So again, this shows all the complexity involved here for the defending team to actually uh, prevent uh, the Raider from going back to his side because he's only a few steps away from his half of the court. Naveen Kumar. India's number nine. Wajid Ali. Oh. Once again, nicely planned escape route. Ooh, electricity in the air out here. Rakesh Kumar. Oh, the diving attempt. Tension is in the air as Muhammad Arshad leaves the court after being tagged out. 29 to 17, another point for the Indian side. That leaves way to Nashir Ali, Pakistani number two, the Raider. 
Well, quick on his feet as well. Hip balance and motion. Thigh and calf solicitation, very important as well. 29 to 17 here in this men's final of Kabaddi India v. Pakistan. We're taking a quick break. We'll be back for more right after this. What's going on? The Crazy Frog is back in town and on the run. Get this crazy sound and join Euros. India versus Pakistan. Tensions are high, electricity is in the air. India has won every single final at an Asian Games in Kabaddi since the introduction, as a matter of fact, of this particular sport to the Asian Games format back in 1990 over in Beijing. So India, the dominant force, the Leviathan of Kabaddi. And if you're just joining us, don't be afraid. No, this isn't volleyball. No, it's not badminton either. This is a, an evolved kind of, well, playground tag, sort of, but with elements of, uh, it's got a bit of contact and it's got a bit of rugby, a bit of wrestling, I guess you could say. 29-18, India in a comfortable position here, about halfway through the second half. Wajid Ali. 30 to 18 now. Oof. So essentially, the uh, each side sends out a raider. They take turns uh, deep diving into uh, enemy territory all by themselves up against a, a wall of defense. And the aim of the game for it, the raider here is to, to tag one of the defenders and go back to his home court without getting a I guess I could say tackled on the way back. So that's a great attempt here with the, the left leg. Try to extend your leg as far as you can. Touch a player, then get out as fast as you can. As you can. Because, of course, you can imagine what happens here as soon as someone gets touched. Oh, get the quick tag, and then you have an entire team of hungry defenders piling up on you. Ouch. Yeah, you make the slightest mistake, you're going down. Well, oh, Pakistan's uh, adding another, Pakistan adding another point after this play here, 30 to 19. It's over to Nasir Ali. Offensive specialist here, quick on his feet. And shot selection, very characteristic of uh, Nasir Ali's style and his uh, flexibility down on his thighs and calves. Trying to find the opening with his left leg on the uh, on the side there. You see his head is leaning forward. His head is your eyes are oriented forward, but he still has peripheral vision. He can see what's going on at a 90 degree angle on the left hand side while his eyes stay focused, if you will, on the rivals just in front of him. That's what it's about. It's about assessing the situation at a 180 degree angle. That's also why there are lots of similarity, similarities between uh, the sport of Kabaddi and the South Asian martial arts. Whether you're talking of uh, Penchak, uh, Sulat, or Kalaripayat, for instance. Rakesh Kumar, Indian number seven. Well, each team, 12 players, seven are on court at once and five are in reserve and the teams alternate in attack and defense. And the playing area, 12 meters, 50 by 10 meters in size, divided in the, into Well, technically the Raiders players who go out all by themselves in enemy territory are not allowed to uh, take a breath. It's 
So it's about, you know, holding your breath as well and uh, heightening your senses as uh, you lower your heart rate by uh, slowing down your breathing. Your senses become more attuned for a while before, uh, before your body commands you to uh, intake more oxygen. Great shot here from uh, above. Give us a little uh, general perspective on the court. The size, you're about three or four, four running steps away from uh, the middle of the court here in the uh, where the defenders are positioned just about. So that's the extent and that's the amount of uh, steps that the uh, Raider will have to take to get himself uh, back in his side of the court, his half of the court. Oof. Well, once again, up here in Asir Ali with uh, an escape route already planned. He put that into execution there, trying to touch his... Uh, opponent did that. Oof. Was he able to touch him off that one? He claims that he did, but... The replay suggests... Well, 10-point gap at this stage as we're uh, coming to... Uh, the end, or at least we're pretty close to it. Pankaj Ashir Sat. India's number 11. Oh, he gets jabbed and taken down. Well, the uh, Pakistani defense uh, reacting quickly out here. Pankaj Ashir Sat securing a point for India. Wajid Ali on the offense, on the prowl, 33 to 20. Kumar, India's number nine, 13 point lead at this stage. Pakistani defense are running pretty thin as uh, the players do get eliminated after being tagged. Considering the options, assessing the situation, responding to any threat in the most adequate way possible. Abrar Khan, Pakistani Raider. Oh! Gets back into his side of the court. Securing an extra point here for Pakistan, down by 12 at this stage. It's now or never, it's reaction time. It's important that they do uh, respond quickly as the second half is uh, coming to an end. Oh, great attempt here. Wajid Ali extending that left leg. Still the 12 point gap and the situation uh, becoming a bit dire for uh, Pakistan. Although to go out as a silver medalist here at the Asian Games would already be uh, quite an achievement indeed up against uh, losing against India is just not quite the same as losing against any of the other participants. India, the definite driving force in the sport of Kabaddi worldwide. They've been the dominant force ever since uh, the sport actually uh, entered the Asian Games uh, back in 1990. Oh, quick.
quick on the feet here as well, Abrar Khan. Well, I'm sure this uh, this kind of practice would complement nicely, uh, especially back in the days where uh, martial arts were used to carry out battles and wage wars. And this would be a great complement for sword fighting techniques or just, you know, general senses development, if you will, or threat perception. Pinned right by the leg. And the Indian defense comes crashing down. Teamwork here as well. Taken out in Maskud Ali. And Pakistan definitely running out of players as India just to keep that gap pretty heavy. 34 to 21. Looks like uh, Pakistan are running out of options. Going to be extremely difficult at this stage uh, of the contest uh, to find the appropriate answer. 35 to 21. Oh, once again. Oh, look at that. Well, the Pakistani Raider is lifting his hand up in a defiant posture right there. 35 22. And Dinesh Kumar out on the raid for India. the final whistle Indians are <laughs> India India are champions once again 1990 1994 1998 2002 2006 here in Doha Qatar for the 15th Asian Games India the driving force of worldwide Kabaddi the Indians demonstrating their superiority here once again. Pakistan settling for the silver medal and the final score in this uh, gold medal match, 35 to 22. And that is it, an honorable finish for uh, Pakistan uh, after a great display of tactical ability. Well, Bangladesh actually uh, secured the bronze medal here, completing the podium after defeating uh, Iran in the bronze medal match. But the definite kings of the game are from India, and it's celebration time now for the entire squad raising their flag and chanting it in honor of their uh, terrific team, a team that came up with all the answers and found so many solutions to uh, each and every problem that was uh, tossed at them. Delving into enemy territory, securing the tag, and finding your way home. The essence of Kabaddi. A history and tradition of 4,000 years and present here at the 15th edition of the Asian Games brought to you on Eurosport 2. One of the 39 sports featured at the Asian Games. Well, if it's the first time you're uh, seeing pictures of Kabaddi, hope you enjoyed it. 
definitely quite different from the more uh, conventional sports. Uh. Fifteenth Asian Games, Doha, 2006. Official timekeeper, Tissot. The ULEB Cup 